Long range. Target acquired. Dead. Boom! Oh, the uh, once was uh, werewolf. Oops, I made a hole. <laughs> and some terrible gear. We'll leave it to rot. Ow. Oh, oh these deer. Oh, look, it's our dear buddy, B Pirko. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Can we kill the deer? Cool. No, Can I kill the deer? No, we have to leave them there. They're Pircos. We can't kill them. Welcome back to another episode of The Fools. We, uh, we are, you know. Going in, to visit Pirko because he had a explosion. We are en route to Pirko's because he had an issue with Holy an ogre. Holy shit, Pirko. In, uh, in, or, uh, an issue with an ogre. Are you going to give him the doors? I am going to give him the doors. So he had an issue with his door. And since we made him the fancy door. <laughs> Took my chest <laughs> with my stuff. Oh. <laughs> Just leave him a whole bunch of doors. Doors. Oh, nice. No, there you go. Wrong. There. Now we can't get in. Oh, I put these two in the wrong box. Uh, so one thing we didn't uh, we didn't show on screen last time, um, or the time before, uh, we had those. Uh, we did show that time uh, where we opened the the chest that Pirico gave us. Uh, we didn't realize that under it was uh, a couple diamond ore. Uh, there were two diamond ores under it. I believe we got eight diamond out of it in the long run. Yeah, we got a lot of diamond out of it. It was awesome. Um, thank so you, yes, Pirico. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. Dear, dear Pirko. What is got going on here? Bees? Bee Bee. stuff? It's apparently in progress. <laughs> well, nothing's getting in his house. For sure. <laughs> Alright. Well, we figured we'd start off with that. Um, we have a few things planned for today. Uh, today is more or less a uh, building slash design type of episode. Um, probably with, more towards the with design. With a lot of your input. A lot, a lot, more, a lot more towards the design aspect than the build aspect. Uh, so we'll start out with outside here because we're already here. Oh, I didn't even see you made this. Yeah, it's, it's prototype. And, uh, uh, I had it, could, to... it could use some work. Well, clearly, and I had to go over the cows. I was going to say, also, it's, it's a... We'll have to move the cows. <laughs> um, so, one of the things... I think we talked about it, didn't we, initially? Uh, at least the... Wanted to do the front walk. Yeah, wanting to do a front walkway. Uh, so, from what we've kind of figured, um, we're going to be doing some type of stone block-ish type of walkway. Um, whether it's going to be kind of a scattered walkway or a solid walkway, it's a different story. We'll have to figure that out with a testing and such like that. Um, but we're thinking of some type of solid walkway um, that connects both of the pathways, that connects over to our staircase, um, and just in general, a pathway that leads to any kind of places we have nearby. Um, what are you doing there? Technically, there would be... Oh, path. pathway over to there. Okay, okay, okay. So, we've also been thinking about future projects, which one of the future projects was an armor... Uh, an armor... armory-style area, kind of? And a trophy-ish room. And a trophy-ish room, um, which the trophies are for the... Uh, um, the Twilight Forest bosses and stuff that we've been killing. We have the uh, three trophies we have in here. The... Two Naga Heads two, and a Yeah, two Naga Heads and a Lich... As we, see we also have a creeper head and a zombie head we can throw in as yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we do pseudo have trophy. Those. Uh, those could be could be trophies as well. We still have we can also get wither wither skulls that we can throw in the trophy room. Um, and I'm not sure if this the, some of the mods allow us to get skeleton skulls, but those that's always always possibility as well. If if it does allow us to get those, switch. I don't see why not since it's. I think we've gotten the zombie head and the creeper head already. Yeah, we have six zombie heads, actually. Oh, do we? Okay, so and I'm pretty sure heads. it's going to allow us... I'm trying to... Where do we put them? They are in the chest in the back right off of there, because they were in my way. Okay, yeah. 
Kramer had, Zombie had. So there's most likely going to be the opportunity to get the Skeleton Skulls as well as the Wither Skeleton Skulls. Um, so we can we can make a little little um, trophy room for those as well. Um, what we are thinking is this m giant mound right here. Um, we definitely could turn this into some type of a cylindrical tower. Um, a spire, if you a will. A spire. Looking at it right now, it's probably we're probably gonna have to just tear down that whole mountain, and because it's rather thin, wide it, it's it's a decent size wide, but thin it's probably too thin. We always terraform around it. Um, so some of the mountain might exist still, but in general, we're gonna be putting a tower there, um, and the tower is gonna be kind of our treasure armory type of tower, um, which. Feels like it would probably be one of the better places to do that. Um, we do have a little bit of a palette here of different types of blocks that we could use for the walkway. Again, there is other blocks that we could use. I mean, we don't have the uh, mossy stone brick here. Uh, if you have any suggestions, feel free to uh, list them in the comments. If you like any of the ones at the bottom of the stairs, say that in the comments as well. Cause... Well, uh, we'll look at these right here. These, these are the blocks that we've initially seen going to F1. Um, feel free to list off a number of, of any of these that look interesting. Being the top left being one, and going all the way to the right, and then starting on the second row from the left to go to the right, uh, so the numbers. So we got one through five on the top row, six through ten on the bottom row. Um, if any of those pique your interest, feel free to leave a comment about in regards to those. But we have a, a slight... Oh. You okay? Yeah, I just jumped over you. Uh, we have a uh, we have a uh, we have a few block variations here. Uh, there's definitely other blocks that we could use that we don't have here. Um, we have this cobblestone, which is not part of that. We have umpteen oh, other blocks. There's a lot of blocks. Umpteen other blocks that we could potentially use for our pathway. And in general, I think what we're gonna want to do is have a kind of a trim block around the the outside of the walkway, yeah. as well as an inner 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 block for the walkway um so there's definitely things we can uh, we could do for this and it will probably be rounded out along the the corners here on the uh, on the turns and such like that so this is although this is just a um it's a rough of, in it's a rough in a guideline for where we would like to have stuff go um we're definitely going to prettify that as we go uh much like kind of anything with the base it's a it's a prettification in progress um, all right, so that is our front walkway, and also we have this um, this little water fountain here, a little fountainy thing here. Um, it's very rough. <laughs> Definitely could use some improvements, but Fivel was had the idea of potentially having a water fountain here. Uh, I don't know just, if you wanted to, to talk make about the front, just to make the front yard look look better, a little prettier. Since we're living here, it might as well look pretty. We can have a flower garden around it or whatever yeah, yeah. piques our interest as we get it. But also, that, that's to give you guys a rough idea of what we're more or less thinking roughly. What we're aiming for. Um, also, one thing that we're we're planning to fix and dispose of is this Sakura wood planks, which Phil is already getting hard at work on. Because the pink glass, it's I like. ugly. The pink glass, I like. Um... The I don't planks, know that I even like the pink glass. To be totally honest. Well, we can we can pitch it. We can we can we can always do white stained glass panes. That would probably look better. Uh, but yeah, we don't we don't particularly like <laughs> that window frame slash potentially the glass, which looks like we don't like the glass either. Um, we it don't. didn't it didn't match it didn't match when we're gonna have to put something there. Uh, it didn't I'm really match the color palette of our house. Um, Overall, it didn't look very good. I think it took away from the house at that at that point. And so I guess we'll uh, we'll blank wall it for now. Yeah, we'll, we'll cover it up for now. We'll fix it off screen. Um, which brings us to the interior. Um, so we had some plans with the bookshelves in our enchanting area. Um, so these bookshelves are plain, just boring to look at. They're just flat. I feel like we should make a book one that's can, not can, of the wood. Can, we are want. we able to make one? Yeah, give me just a second. I'll make one real fast. Okay. So we have 
these, as you can see, these bookcases are very plain, very boring, and definitely could use some spicing up and improvements, some beautification, one might say. Uh, so, Bibliocraft, one of the mods that we have on our repertoire, just ha so happens to have um, some uh, pretty stuff that we could use. Which we can put normal books in them, right? Um, I think. We'll see. I'm not sure. But Fivel happens to have... Oh, look at that. Some bookcases. You probably have to be written books, if I had to guess. They do. How do I make a written book? Um, it is a book and a quill and feather. Or, uh, you have to make... Wait, it's feather um, a feather and ink. Well, we're out of ink, so... Boo. Well, we're going to have to kill some some squids. But the plan is, um, we're not going to be using these oak bookcases. We're thinking um, along the lines of dark oak, which we haven't found yet in this world. We're going to have to go doing a little bit of exploring to find those, which we'll, we might do a little bit later. In this I episode. got it! Oh, you had some? Those were the ones from the swamp. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, as you can see here, we can pick up and collect these books if I... Uh, Right click on this bookshelf, I can take this book here, or take these books. I can also, oh, you can uh, spread them out because there's four of them. Yeah. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight books per shelf. Ooh, I like that. Um, so we were thinking of upgrading our bookcases, our current bookcases, to these uh, Bibliocraft bookcases. And the nice thing about these is, um, from what we were looking at... Let me double check before we spout wrong things. What we were looking at is that each case um, does provide, um, at least from what Fibble was telling me... Does yes, so it can hold 16 books, and 8 books count as one vanilla bookshelf. So each book case fully loaded counts as two vanilla bookshelves. All right, perfect. So, I mean, we don't even need half of the book bookshelves that we have here but i think it would be nice of us to kind of use these bookshelves and wrap them all the way around um it's definitely going to look a lot better i mean just looking at this bookshelf to book bookcase actually i wonder does it have to be would we have to put it closer on the front half no. of this oh no uh, i saw the little particles no. coming off it i don't yeah, know it's I th yeah it should be fine we can test that well, no, yeah, it just came off of it. It just came off of the blue book. Oh, yeah, I saw it. Okay. So we're most likely going to be replacing ultimately all of our bookcases with these uh, Bibliocraft bookshelves and then uh, adding books in as we go. In, in the dark oak color. In, in the dark oak one, not the this oak bookshelves, uh, bookcases, uh, which we're going to, again, we're going to have to go exploring for the dark oak um, and try to get a few dark oak saplings. But ultimately, our book... Um, a brook station is going to be upgraded to this, which I'm, I don't know if we're going to have to upgrade these, uh, sl this bottom slabs or bottom. No, I like here. it. I like it like that. Do you like it? Okay. Well, uh, we'll go with Frames that. Frames it in. Okay. So, but ultimately we're going to be upgrading our bookcases with these, uh, book, these oak or the, uh, bibliocrack, bibliocrack, bibliocraft bookcases, uh, all the way around and slowly filling these in with books. Uh, what we're kind of thinking, which is still a thought, we haven't fully decided yet, is we might be fielding your um, any questions or comments that you guys have in our episodes. And um, at the end of each episode, we might be um, kind of selecting a uh, random question or comment that we find interesting and um, kind of answering it or responding to it in the episode and then putting one of those books on the bookcase. Um, that will give us the opportunity to have a lot of comments and questions that we could throw in our book, uh, our enchanting room area, and uh, kind of uh, give us a means of uh, communicating with you guys a little bit more, kind of uh, um, chatting with you and kind of interacting with you a lot more so than we have, uh, at least as of now. We, uh, we try to keep uh, responding to comments and such, but... I think this will be uh, even more interesting. It also allows you to be a part of the world. You have contributed to the world. To, to you all have least. your own book. You have your own book in the world, which I'm sure will eventually release a copy of the world. 
at some point. All right, so and next, the next things, room. next. So we had a um, an episode Ep- a few episodes episode ago. 10. Episode, episode 10. 10. What are we on now? Like 13? 14? 13 was our last one. That's where you died 14. to the lich a bunch of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to hear about it. So we had uh, a few episodes ago, episode 10. We um, Fibble had mentioned that if we got a certain amount of um, likes, which I believe we 15. got, right? We did. I just yep. checked. 15 likes. It's if sick. we got enough likes, we would work on the next upgrade room here, which we have started the preparations for. If you can't tell already what it's going to be used for, this is going to be the almighty map room. All of these item frames are going to be filled with maps of the overall area. Just, and, just uh, so that they get a, a, a brief... This is just a, a grand scale... I think you put the wrong things in there. I'm just throwing maps that I have. Oh, okay, never mind. It's it's fine then. Just so that they can see what it looks like. Just so you get a grand scale of what this is going to ultimately look like. This is going to take a little bit of work to fill it in. But this will be a large scale-ish map map of the general area. It's definitely taking a sweet-ass time to load in. They're not bad once they have loaded. Yeah. But uh, in general, we're gonna have a we're working on having a large scale map of the overall area. Um, that way, we can have something eye candy. Something you can come in and go, ah, look, this is the world. This is our area, and we this can be, we'll be able pitch. to we'll be able to look. Some of these maps look like they're not rotated correctly, like this one. Uh, they are. They are. are. Sure? They are. Yeah. Is it supposed to cut off at a like that with that white stuff. Um. Those maps don't go next to each other. Oh, okay. That makes Those sense. are just random maps that I grabbed out of my okay. item, which we'll discuss in a minute. All right. So they're not they're not representative of the area. They're just pieces of the area. All right. I got gotcha. you. Anyways. Anyway, we're going to be setting up a large-scale map here of the world. Um, we will pretty up the walls and floor and ceiling of this room, um, probably with these uh, Japanese maple and cypress. Um, just to get the room feeling um, connected the with base. the rest of the rest of the base, uh, but we also set up a little something something, a secret. Once we get the uh, all the maps in place, you won't be able to see this. Oh, I picked up something. Where did I pick this? Map. You say yeah. You put it up on there so that you can't see through it. Well, well, there well there's, it, is that one more there? Good enough. I've, I have I have so many maps. Oh, where did that map go? You tr- there it is. You're trying to demonstrate to them? Yeah. Okay. That is apparently a blank map. I don't think it was filled in. But anyways, the there will be a secret, quote-unquote, secret entrance here that you walk through the uh, map frames to get to. Um, we attempted to use a bibliocraft um, map, map frames. frames. However, but you can't walk through them. Yeah, you can't walk through them, and they don't mesh up very well with the item-framed maps. Uh, so we decided against them, unfortunately, even though they do have, uh, they do look pretty. Um, we decided against them in, in a, just in a, in preference of the item frames, just because we could walk through them, and. Uh, this will lead down to, down to, hell. Oh, hell. Okay. This is going to lead down to hell. Well, one of the thing, ways is going to be right. hell. The um, so the plan is... Three portal rooms. So the plan is this is ultimately going to lead to three portal rooms. Now, Fivel and I both have different ideas of what might work well um, with the ways to the portal room. Um, but ultimately, like I said, it's going to be a secret, quote-unquote, secret entrance that you go through, and it leads towards the three portal rooms. Uh, now, we have two potential ideas that we've been thinking about. Um, one of them is Phil's idea, if you want to talk about that real quick. It would be when you first walk down the hallway, you go first into the nether room, since that's the most basic of the dimensions. And then there would be stairs off to the left of one side that kind of snake up 
to a room above where the next room is and off to the other side that snaked down to where a room is. So the three are stacked on top of each other. All right. So the gist of it is there's going to be the three portals, uh, portal at rooms stacked on top of each other. Um, with awesome staircases. With uh, with staircases, or awesome staircases connecting them. Uh, that is one idea that we had. Um, the other idea is to create sort of a uh, CTM-like intersection area. And off of the three directions, the, the from if we're looking at this way, from the left, the forward, and the right, would be um, pathways over to the various uh, portal rooms. Um, so that is the two ideas that we've been uh, dabbling with. Uh, we definitely would like to get your guys' feedback on what you guys would think would be cool looking, what you guys would be interested in seeing. Uh, so do leave uh feedback and suggestions in regards to the uh the two different types of portal rooms or two different yeah yeah two different type formats for the portal rooms um we're definitely interested in hearing that feedback um we will be doing a little bit of cartography today not all of it on camera uh with there will be some of it cut out obviously there's a lot of cartography there will be a lot of cartography to uh, fill out this map area uh, but we'll be doing most of it off screen. Some of it will be on screen. Uh, but speaking of cartography, we have new stuff. Like that stuff in Phil's hand right there. Which, we just so happen to set up some project benches to show you how it was made. You coming over, Phil? I'm organizing the maps in mine, so I remember where I've been. Alright, so obviously, we have, uh, well, these uh, these benches are a little out of order. So we have ourselves the basic compass recipe. Most of you should know this. Um, it's not a very widely used item. So if you're not familiar with the compass, simply four iron surrounding a redstone. And I'm going to grab a few of those. Just grab them all. All? All right. Grab them all. Uh, then we have this map, empty map, which I'm going to grab them all. It's a stack of empty maps. And then we have... Well, I won't be able to grab a stack of this. Um, we have the Atlas, which I'm going to need all of these maps for the Atlas anyways. Um, essentially, the Atlas is an auto-mapper. You have the Atlas with you. Do you have to wear, uh, hold in your hand, Phil? Yes. Okay. So the Atlas is more or less an auto-mapper, and I will make this real quick uh, just to go over the recipe. Um, six paper. A slotted book, which... What is a slotted book? How's that made? A book and quill. And, and a, and a, uh, a wood wood label. Which label. the wood label is just six of these slabs. Um, so that is a slotted book. All right. And then we have these uh, drafting compasses, which is three iron and two sticks. And that makes this, which we'll grab this atlas... Um, I have not played with the Atlas yet. Fivil has. Did you uh, make all of the maps? Yes. They're in my inventory. We need to put this to so, zoom level 2. Zoom level 1. We don't zoom want level two. One. 2 is mo too much far. Auto center? Yes, and auto create. Auto create, and then I drop the dra drag these maps into... Half here. of them. Give me the other half. But half of them in your bottom left, or in one of those six slots that's on the left-hand side. Okay, here, let me give you half. And then we drag these into here. And it will make a map. And now as you run a, run about your business, um, so easiest way to do it is to come out here and go left off of the stairs. Okay, are you going right? Yeah, I already have most of right. I have a bunch of right and so I have a bunch of northwest done. Let's use let's use directions so that makes sense. So would you like if to you go explain south, a little bit more how how the atlas works? So it would as you get off of the map you're on, it will cr it will then load up the next map, take one of your empty maps and load it up, and then it will become into the atlas's inventory. Um, 
and as you go into the inventory, it will sh- the one that's highlighted is the one you're currently in. It's okay. highlighted in green. And then it will have red lines with what sides those other maps line up with. Okay. So you can kind of tell where it is. It's kind of hard to organize at first. Um, and it's going to take a lot of figuring out how far out we need to go with which one we put in the center. Um, so don't go too far out just yet. <laughs> But the gist of it is it more or less auto maps for you. So you don't have to worry about creating maps in once you get to the right places. Um, it creates the maps for you. And auto... Oh, chunks are not loading there. Uh, auto creates the map for... Or takes the map from your the inventory and uh, places it into the atlas. So you don't have to worry about, uh, again, selecting a map at the right pl- time and place. And... Uh, it just does. It does all the grunt work for you. You just have to hold it with you. And you may not even have to hold it with you. I did when I was running around. I don't know if you actually absolutely have to, though. It's daytime, and there's not really a whole lot of reason not to. I'm just gonna... Oh, elephants. Hi, elephants. Hi, boars. Jerk boars. These boars are the worst. They're up there. Next to the deers. Uh, but yes, this is the auto mapper, more or less the atlas, and this will be our tool of trade for our cart- cartographing um, for our map room. Um, I think we're gonna do a little bit of work on this off screen. Uh, we probably won't complete the whole map today. Yeah, uh, we will. Will we? Well. Before we cut in with you guys again, we probably won't complete the whole map today. <laughs> um, but we can work on that as due in due time. Uh, so we are going to do a little bit more cartographing. Cartar- is it cartographing? I have no idea. Cartography? We're going to do a little bit more cart- cartography. I think that's the term. And um, we will catch you guys in a minute. Be back. Be right back. Ah. Come on, dragon! Stop it! All right, we're back. As you can see, we did a little bit of our uh, cartography, cartography, and cartography. I died twice. Phil got his ass eaten by a polar bear tw- twice. Was it the polar bear both times? Um, well, the polar bear knocked me off a cliff the first time, and then I ran <laughs> back butt naked because I was like, "Ah, oh, the polar bear was just pissed off me. It was nighttime, so we slept." And then I got back and his three buddies gangbanged me. <laughs> so then I went back with an iron sword and I raped their whole family. <laughs> but, we, but thanks to Phil's sacrifices, we got some <laughs> cartographing up in fun. the uh, the northwest. Uh, but uh, we have a good, a good amount of the map cleared, or at least a good amount of our planned map cleared. Uh, we still have a little bit up to the northeast over here. And then uh, south of west over here, we have a large chunk of area we need to uh, clear out. But there's something we could work on in the meantime. Mean, meantime, meantime, time. Uh, we're also going to have to work on prettying up the room so it's not this cobblestone stone and it's the uh, cypress and uh, Japanese maple. But, uh, cobblestone stone. Yeah, something we can work on. But I think we've been going for a good amount of time. So... That's probably a good time to end the episode for today. Uh, that gave you a good idea into uh, what we plan for the base in, in the upcoming episodes. I'm, uh, I'm definitely excited. We're still going to have to do some exploring for the uh, Dark Oak. Here goes but, uh, not asleep. <laughs> we're still going to do some exploring for the Dark Oak. Hopefully we'll find some within this area here. If not, we're going to have to go out exploring a little farther than that. But um, we'll be and just to... just for scale, if you look at the northwest corner where there's the little lava blob, you see that? Yep. That was like a tenth of how far I ran to go get Dumbo. So yeah. the lo- the lava blob in the basalt, or the blob lava blob to the right of- in the snow? Um, to the left, the farthest left map that we have. Oh, that little lava blob. Okay. Feel the luck. "Quote unquote" ran a really far distance. I I I can't validify that distance, but 
I ran a really far distance. Don't take that away from me. <laughs> but that's going to do it for today, guys. Thanks for joining, as always, for another Fool's episode. Uh, not We didn't really build a whole lot today, but we, got, we, we gave you a good idea of what we plan to do soon. It will or, all be built within the next 24 months. Or at least what we plan to do off screen soon. But uh, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for joining. And we'll catch you all next time. Laters, guys. Bye.